I'll teach you JavaScript in five minutes. Let's go. JavaScript is a powerful language used mainly for web development. It is the backbone of dynamic and interactive elements on websites. Variables. And this is it. This is literally it, guys. This is it. This is the ebook that I've been working on. It's called Free JS Essentials on Websites. Variables. In JavaScript, variables are containers for storing data. <clears throat> you can use var, let, or const for declaring variables. Let and const are more modern and preferable. Then you have data types. JavaScript has several data types. Strings, numbers, booleans, true or false, which you may have seen in other programming language. Objects, arrays, undefined and null. Understanding these is key to manipulating data in your code, guys. Functions. Functions are blocks of code designed to perform a specific task. You can define a function once and use it multiple times, making your code more organized and reusable. Control structures. Control structures like if, else, statesmen and loops for and while loops control the flow of your program based on conditions they are essential they are actually essential for creating dynamic behavior in your code <clears throat> objects are collections objects objects are collections of properties and methods they're crucial in javascript for organizing and storing data in a structured ways it's basically like a mini database Arrays, guys, arrays are used to store multiple values in a single variable. They are incredibly useful for handling lists, like uh, list of, uh, lists of items, like names and numbers and so forth. DOM manipulation, uh, that is docu document object, uh, uh, that stands for document object model. Uh, and JavaScript can actually manipulate the DOM, allowing you to dynamically change HTML and CSS through JavaScript, creating interactive user experiences at the end, as a result. Events, events in JavaScript are actions that can be detected and responded to, for example, clicking a button, which is often done, or submitting a form. A form. <laughs> Event listeners are also used to handle these actions, guys. Asynchronous JavaScript. JavaScript often operates asynchronously, using features like callbacks, promises, and async await to handle operation like server requests without, block, without blocking the main thread. JSON. JSON, uh, sorry, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and is a format for structuring data, commonly used for data exchange between a server and web application. Hoisting. Hoisting is JavaScript's uh, default behavior of moving declarations to the top of a scope. It is important to understand for avo avoiding unexpected behaviors in your code, guys. So that is a very important. Keep that in mind when you start coding in JavaScript. Closures. Closures are functions that remember they're out of scope and can access variables from that scope even after the outer function has finished executing. Pro prototype inheritance. JavaScript objects, uh, JavaScript objects inherits, uh, inherit properties and methods from a prototype. There's a fundamental concept for understanding how objects and functions interact in JavaScript. Guys, remember this. Then you also have strict mode, which is a way to opt into a restricted variant, variant of JavaScript, and it helps in writing safer JavaScript by co catching common coding mistakes. And then for some of the new features in JavaScript ES, ES6, it has some features uh, which introduced many new uh, many, many new features like the arrow function uh, to short to shorten uh, functions uh, sh sorry shorten function syntax template li literals classes and destructuring assignments enhancing the language capabilities then we also have debugging which is very uh, it's actually a very important thing so you have tools like console.log you have breakpoints and then you have and then you have the browser's developers tools to help you find and fix issues in your in your javascript code <clears throat> and then you also yeah basically guys please follow the best practices out there the best uh, coding methods like uh, dry uh, the dry method keeping code dry which means that you do not repeat yourself don't repeat yourself. If you've already written a code before and you need it again, just make it a function that you can always call um, so you don't have to write that block of code again. Just make it a function uh, that you can always call. Writing comments and breaking down problems into small parts of for maintainable and efficient code. Frameworks and libraries, guys, you have a bunch of libraries. You have a whole sea and world, sea of worlds that you guys need to explore. And with this, I'm basically talking about React, Angular, and Vue. These are some frameworks that you can work with to create and build beautiful, beautiful website, guys. So, familiar, so try to learn these popular frameworks and libraries, and they will definitely provide reusable components, especially React. 
and structures for building robust uh, application. Try to uh, just try view. If you are totally new, new to JavaScript, then, then try view. That may be a lot easier to learn. And continuous learning, guys. JavaScript will always be evolving. Trust me. As long as <laughs> as long as the internet and web browsers and the yeah, and just browsing on the internet it keeps evolving, JavaScript will also evolve. And so you also need to stay cu curious and keep learning new patterns, libraries, and best practices. And for that, I can only say happy coding, guys. And that's a wrap. Remember, JavaScript is a vast language, and continual learning is key to mastery. So you will never you will never reach a point where you learn everything. It's basically like, like learning a spoken language. You will never fully master it, but you will definitely learn the fundamentals, and you will become great at it. So that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below. See you in the next one.